You call the arm Hector? I named it Hector for no reason other than it needed a name. No one had named it. I called it Hector, but Brian, our tech guy over here, found out that Hector in Greek means to grasp. And it's the name I just picked out of the air. You just grasped that out of the air, I didn't did. You? I did, and that's what it means. Now, the things on my head, the pedestals, I named Lewis and Clark, but that was with a very specific intent. They're exploring vast new territories and blazing new trails, so that was appropriate for the ones on my head. And making a lot of discoveries. They are. Which one's mm -hmm. Lewis? The front one. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure the folks at home are watching this and wondering whether those pedestals in your skull are, are painful at all or whether you notice it much. I. I know some less than anyone because I can't see them. Mm -hmm. You see them because you're talking to me. I don't even know they're there. So, no, they're not painful at all. I've never felt any pain from them. Uh, I had a headache after the surgery. It was gone by the next day. So, they're, they're not a pain at all. I just keep them covered because I don't need people looking at me thinking, oh, that poor dear. You know, what have they done to her? So. So I wear hats in public. And when people think, oh, that poor deer, what would you say to them? No, I'm not a poor deer. When people look at me, they feel bad, and I understand that. But the only reason is because you can see my problems. There are people walking around with two good legs who have a lot worse problems than me, but you can't see theirs. You can see mine, so you think I have more problems than you. Well, that's not true.